today is August 13th, 2022, and it is day number eight of my true hike on the coast to coast walk. It is nine o'clock in the morning. I'm leaving the village of Reeth, and I'm not sure yet of how far I'll be hiking today. It's gonna depend on the trail, on the heat, it's been really hot the last few days. I feel like the heat of the Camino has definitely moved to the coast to coast. So yeah, I think um, I'm gonna try doing a long distance uh, day, like over 20 miles. But uh, like I said, it's gonna depend on, uh, on the heat and um, it's just gonna be another beautiful day, I'm sure. So we'll see how the day is going to be like. I don't know what this side for Camino de Santiago is doing here, but uh, I am now following the coast to coast. So this is the way that I've got to go. And, uh, and I'm just entering the town of Richmond. I noticed that most people from the UK are hiking the coast to coast just carrying a day pack with uh, some snacks and water. They're basically using a shuttle service so they can have their luggage sent to their ne next destination, uh, either the bed and breakfast or the hotel, whatever they are staying at. So I am carrying my full gear. So I have my tent, I have my sleeping bag, basically the gear that I had in Switzerland to hike the Alpina. This is what I'm having. This is what I'm carrying with me here. 
and I haven't uh, camped yet on the coast to coast, but uh, I will certainly be doing so in the next few days. Uh, I'm gonna enter a section uh, that uh, they don't have many facilities and most places available, they uh, have been booked in advance by, uh, by other hikers. Um, so actually people usually uh, book months before, you know, but uh, so I'm definitely gonna be tenting in, uh, in a few days. If perhaps even today I may, I may camp, I'll see. Uh, I still don't know how far I'm gonna be hiking today. I am now uh, entering the uh, town of Richmond. So, so far I've hiked around 10 miles. And my idea, perhaps, my idea is certainly to do over 20, 20 miles today. So it's gonna depend on the heat uh, in the afternoon, if it's, if I can handle it. I'm gonna take a break now in Richmond, have a cold drink with lots of ice in my glass and uh, and I'll keep on hiking. It is 4.30 in the afternoon and uh, just now the temperature is uh, cooling down a little bit. It uh, was uh, extremely hot uh, uh, after lunchtime and uh, I've been pretty much hiking non-stop since Richmond. Uh, I took a break there, had a cold drink and I just kept walking kind of slowly because uh, the heat was very intense and uh, basically going through fields like this not uh, much shade on the way so uh, very much exposed to the sun and I read that this was uh, Wainwright, Wainwright's least favorite section of the coast to coast. I, I can't understand why. There are no fells, no summits to go up to, and it's basically a rural area. 
and uh, uh, with pastures, lots of cows and sheep. And uh, and gates like this one to open. Lots of gates. I have lost count of how many gates. Since leaving the Lake District, which actually happened a few days ago, I'm not sure, I think I forgot to mention it. I've been uh, hiking through a region they call Yorkshire District. And it's mostly farmland and uh, with lots of cattle and sheep. And uh, this morning, leaving the village of Reeth, I had to go up a summit to get to the town of Richmond. Uh, gained about maybe 300 meters of elevation and uh, but since Richmond it's been pretty flat and just like you can see it now uh, playing fields and uh, and there, there's no one here it's uh, I haven't seen anyone for quite some time now no cars, no one working in the fields, uh, no hikers, it's pretty much just myself on this road. I actually went just a while back. I went through uh, some woods, which was really nice. Uh, I could be in the shade for a while because, you know, for the most part of the afternoon, I've been just walking with uh, the sun right on my head. Now it cooled down, it feels better. But uh, as I was walking in this uh, shaded area, I could see a deer, so that was nice. It um, was the first uh, deer I saw on the coast to coast. But this is mostly it. This is how this region looks like. And I am walking to a very small place called uh, Danby Whisk. I was able to make a, a reservation at an inn that they have there. They also have a pub. But I know it's a very small place, so I think the only thing they have there is the uh, inn and the pub and the road. <laughs> and so. But it's a beautiful road to walk on. I love it. Look at this.
When I thought my hiking day was coming to an end, I had to do some bushwhacking and I'm sure there was like lots of poison ivy through that section because I can feel my legs now kind of itching and burning. And not only that, I, I uh, almost entered this lot where they had the uh, I think it were like three dogs. There was actually a horse coming behind me and I, I thought I was going the right way. And I opened this gate and suddenly the dogs came from nowhere. So this is the coast to coast. I, I don't know how many gates I open and I close today, lots of them, but uh, hopefully Darnby Whiskey is coming up soon. The trail is looking like this. It is 8 p.m. now. I am inside my room at the uh, White's One Inn. Uh, it's a bed and breakfast that they have here in the village of uh, Danby Whiskey. I arrived here about two hours ago after hiking 24 miles from the village of Wreath. And I came into the pub that they have downstairs. I met two other hikers, very nice guys, and we were talking about uh, different trails. They were telling me about uh, hikes they've done in Scotland. So I decided to have my dinner even before coming up to my room. And so just now I'm gonna take a shower and I'm gonna rest. So tomorrow I can continue my true hike on the coast to coast walk from the Irish Sea to the North Sea in Northern England. <laughs> 